Good morning. It's very important to be very skeptical of news that foreign militaries have achieved some astounding breakthrough in technology or combat proficiency, and especially when involving countries that are adversarial, let's say. We've been fooled many times before. We were told that Iraq was on the verge of developing weapons of mass destruction, and lately that Iran was, and the next logical step is to launch invasions or bombing missions to prevent those things from happening. During the Soviet era, it was common for our own defense contractors to do the same thing and insist that every single new Russian submarine or missile or bomber requires billions of dollars in new Pentagon programs to counter them. So for news like this here about revolutionary technology that the Chinese Navy seems to have built, we should get reflexively nervous when we hear about them from TWZ, for example. TWZ is the war zone, but I guess they wanted to go for a softer rebrand. It is sponsored by the General Atomics Aeronautical Systems, among others. So they're hoping to be the first in line to get a big contract if they can get Congress worried about what it means for the U.S. Navy. Breaking defense, they're kind enough to tell us in the headline that they're sponsored by Northrop Grumman, so I didn't have to go looking. And so it's best to wait a bit and allow other people to weigh in, people not hoping to get a piece of the next gazillion dollar defense budget. But the news is this, Chinese stealth aircraft, combat drones, and AWACS planes were successfully launched and recovered by the Fujian using a new electromagnetic catapult system. The videos, which we're sharing here, are several minutes long and include footage of the aircraft launches, recover, and deck operations involved. There are several aspects about the story that make it important. The J-35 is a stealth aircraft, fifth generation. And this marked the first time a stealth plane had been launched from an aircraft carrier. The Naval News points out too that the footage used in these videos were from earlier this year. So the Chinese Navy is even farther along in their deployment plans than our experts thought previously. These videos were also first to show the entire launch sequence compared to previous media. The Chinese Navy are deploying electromagnetic catapults, which hold significant advantages over steam powered systems. They're smaller, simpler, and can launch a wider variety of aircraft because they're more gentle on the plane, we can say. Most outlets focused on the fact that the Chinese Navy was the first to launch a stealth aircraft. But serious analysts point out that it's the catapult system itself which is more significant. The electromagnetic system allows for faster launches, greater reliability, and more flexibility, especially in drone operations. This whole package is the world's first successful integration of next generation technologies. The Ford aircraft carrier is the most advanced in the U.S. fleet and have deployed EM catapults for over a decade. It's also been a decade since the F-35 was introduced. But the U.S. Navy still cannot use the two together. The F-35 is launched with a steam system. We've had lots of problems with the electromagnetic launch systems. The Navy had hoped to replace steam with the EMALS, but they've suffered from major technical problems and have high failure rates. Engineers have trouble locating the source of the problems during fight operations, and so cannot make repairs quickly. During combat operations, when the margin for error goes to zero, the system cannot be used at all. The design was fatally flawed from the beginning based on the design itself. The catapults were not independently powered, so if our crews have a problem with one catapult, it cannot be switched off so the repairs can be made. Add to that a failure rate of 1 in 400, which is 10 times worse than what the contract called for. 
By comparison, the catapult system on the Fujian is powered differently, and so the failure rate is just a small fraction of what it is on the Ford-class carriers. The U.S. Navy's EM catapults are overly complex, and a single point of failure shuts down the whole system. This means that our carriers have an unfixable problem. The U.S. Navy is stuck with steam, in other words, and it's now we realize the limitations steam-powered carrier flight operations have. Steam catapults need a lot more time to build up power to launch planes, and the new Chinese system can do that 75% faster. China's launchers are ready to go every 45 seconds, irrespective of how big the aircraft is. Add it up, and with these new catapults, the Chinese Navy will put up more aircraft in less time. This is the Tai O village in Hong Kong. Be good.